All right, welcome to the stream. We're doing more Ultimate NES Remix, which I played uh, it a little while ago, and I feel like doing more of it, so. If you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is like a nice way to get a retro fill without committing to one specific game. Also, this... The stuff that they, uh, modify the stages is pretty cool. Alright. Oh, that's the bottom. <laughs> I was holding Y. Okay. I missed some, didn't I? Oh, I messed up. Okay, there's plenty of time, but I could have done better. Yeah, it's fine. Um, I want to see if. Yeah, I guess. Hold on. I don't think the. Uh... Yeah. Let me find the right layout. That's the right layout. I don't think the bottom screen is that useful, so let's just go with this. Even though the other one's more representative. <laughs> Donkey Kong World with Link. Oh no, I'm playing a Zelda game! After I just said yesterday, hey, I finished Tears of the Kingdom, no more Zelda. Okay, I didn't know that this was gonna pop up in all fairness. Doesn't count, does it? it? He can't jump, by the way. Ah! At least I don't think so. Yeah, I, I pressed all the buttons. He can't. He can't jump. So that's that's the twist. I'm not gonna get this, am I? Oh. <laughs> it's... it's not fair. You know, I've never played this game properly. I feel like I've played maybe like a minute of it and then stopped. Just... Like, that barrel just heat seeks me every time. Alright. This is fucked. Like, you can't jump. I'm not gonna... Wow. Alright, try again! How are you supposed to do this without jumping? You... Like, it would make sense if Link had a sword attack or something, but he doesn't. Like, there is no redeeming quality to, to having Link here. Oh my god. Oh, this sucks. Okay. Nearly. <laughs> Got it. Holy crap, that was harder than I thought it was gonna be. Apparently I did really well. Enter the pipe. Let's see. It's a funky background. Oh shit. Okay. I mean, if you know the game enough, I guess this this shouldn't. Damn it! <laughs> if you know the game enough, this shouldn't phase you in the slightest. The 
This is scaring the crap out of me. But it's an interesting challenge. We'll give it that. Give me those stages. These are the interesting ones, so... I think I gotta play more of the standard ones to be able to unlock more of these, but for now... Defeat all the imposters. Another game that I haven't played properly ever. Oh crap. Okay. So I gotta hit him from above. It makes it so disorienting. Doesn't help that I'm not good at this game, <laughs> either. It's dead. Okay, I'm getting the hang of it. Could have done better. Collect five cherries, all right. Wait, this isn't even the shadow world, this is just normal. Man, I kind of want to play this now. Oh, it's like... That's cool. It's the inverse. I never liked using Mario in this game. I was always Luigi or... Uh, or Peach, just because their mobility was better. This was probably the only game where I preferred to use Luigi over Mario. They wanted me to complete it quicker. Collect all the coins, alright. Oh, what is... Oh, it's like... Double up. I mean, I think the best way to do this is just control one Mario and just ignore the other. Wait, I have to be that- oh no, I have to be really quick. I have to do this in eight seconds, that's just nuts. It doesn't help physics. Not used to the jeez, these jumping mechanics. I've never played classic Mario Brothers before. 
beyond uh, the mini game that was in Super Mario 3. The jumping just feels wrong. I don't know if this is even doable, like, unless I use both. Oh, there's no way, like, this is horrible. Alright, I just gotta go good. I'm just not good at the jumping. I'm expecting it to act a certain way, and it's just not acting that way. I don't know if it's easier to ignore having two Marios or what. to use both of them. So the problem is you have to be moving. You can't just change Mario's trajectory like in the later games. It's just like I can't just do a jump and then turn. This. I, I just, I, I don't like this. <laughs> oh, this is hard. Okay, cool. that was closer, that was closer. It's like a really tight time to get this. Nah, I fucked this already. If I waste even three seconds, I'm done. There's, there's no way. Got it! Man. Yeah, that better be like a, a good effort. It was not easy. Dodge enemies and capture the fairies. Okay. Wait, what game is this? Oh, what? It's Kid Icarus, but with like... Zelda 2 music? I've never played Kid Icarus. Now play Sages from Metroid. I mean, I'm probably gonna have to play through some of these just to get unlock more of these uh, remix stages. I'll do another remix stage and then maybe I'll play through some of the other ones to unlock it. Defeat the invisible Birdo, did I read that right? Okay. Alright. Well, I wouldn't call that invisible. Still appears... This is like the sort of thing that would happen if your cartridge is dirty or something. I also seem to have a lot of health, so...
I probably would have gotten the good rating if I didn't lose health. Alright, one more, one more, one more. Oh, it's like... <laughs> this is cool. I kind of want to play full ver a full version of a Mario game where you can use Link. You know what, I think that exists, because there was, um, Super Mario Bros. X, which I, I believe was made by the people that ended up making Terraria. That was like, uh, Mario Maker before Mario Maker, because people used to make levels in it. I think they had Link as a playable character. Alright, uh, so I gotta play some other ones before more of them unlock. I, I could go for the low-hanging fruit here, which is this. This is low hanging fruit for me. Now it unlocks stage time. But I'll keep doing the Mario 1 stuff. That's a Metroid one. I kind of wish they would bring this to Switch, because this is like a good way... To introduce people that never got to play these games, it's kind of just a short taste of each one. But then, of course, you've got, um... Just... Yeah, the twist on it. It's almost like a modern-day demo disc. I missed that. <laughs> Inner child yelling at me for missing that. Okay. Oh, I had to pick the same stage. Hold on. And... This one. I miss Mario 35. I really wish Nintendo didn't shut it down. That was so fun. It was the only Battle Royale I ever did good at. I hate how it does that. It's the second time it's gotten me. It looks like it picks the new stage, but then it just jumps back. There we go. Alright. That was pathetic. <laughs> but in a normal circumstance, you'd be... 
See, right now I'm overthinking this jump. But before that, I'd be running, so then I wouldn't be overthinking it. That's the problem, is like, you're starting from zero. Almost got me again. Neutralize the enemy before the time runs out. Shit. 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 <laughs> oh, okay. It's fine. <laughs> I almost messed that up. Jeez. I hate these trampolines with a burning passion. <laughs> I hate them. <laughs> it always takes a little bit for me to adapt to them again, but... They always got me as a kid. Like, any time I would eat shit in Mario 1, it'd be because of these things. This would be a vine that I would never get out as a result. There we go. Yeah, fuck the trampoline. I mean, it shows you where it is. It's one of these ones. There we go. I know, I feel bad, I miss- I miss coins. I'll go back to doing the interesting stages shortly. Just, I think Mario 1 is like an easy way for me to unlock stages. Wait, it's really teaching you this trick? I can't believe this. It's, it's been too long since I've done this. But the problem is... Like... See, I didn't do anything- I didn't do anything different. Ugh, sucks. I haven't done this in such a long time. Come on. There we go, alright. No one's gonna set that up as a casual player. Okay. I mean, this one, yes, I would, I would say powerful. Oh, fuck these things. Yep. Bane of my existence in Mario 1.
difficulty curve. I feel like this should be one of the first things you do. Okay, well, that's fine. This one you have to follow it. I mean, I wouldn't be following it, I would be, uh, opening up a path early on. And grabbing it that way, not like this. This is the annoying way to grab it. Fucked up. <laughs> Do it again. I'm playing this on the 3DS, so you know. I don't think the 3DS has the best D-pad. So tiny. Damn it. <sighs> Alright, it's fine. One more. I'm surprised I didn't throw the hammer one at me. It's here. Yeah. Ugh, there. A hundred coins? Oh, no, never mind. It's clear, it's fine. I just jumped a little too late. I was wondering on an underwater stage would turn up. Oh. That's the next one. Um, <laughs> I mean, I know it wants me to enter a pipe, but I'm going to enter the pipe. This is the correct answer. Ones with the gradient are like the really strange ones. Okay, 
defeat one enemy before the time runs out. Ow. <laughs> really? Oh, I fucked this up. Getting there. Is this just making me do f the... I guess this is teaching you how to do 5-2 very quickly. Ugh. I genuinely don't remember where the pipe- Oh, is this just at the end? It might just be at the end. Okay, there's no secret to that, let's just get to the end. If I was playing this on a normal controller, this would be fine. It's just these buttons are so tiny. This one's- that one wasn't fair because... I'd have trajectory at this point. I would have momentum. He's extra tough. The hammer. Alright. No? I was expecting hammer. Okay. Yeah, that, that's, that's the stuff I was expecting. This is 7-4 now. Another hammer. I hate this one. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, did they take it out or is it still there? Probably, oh shit. I think I moved the capture card cable and that's unplugged. Hold on. Yeah. One sec. It's very finicky. I need to get a longer cable for this thing, I feel, but it's lazy. Alright, anyway. Reveal Bowser's secret. All oh, right. <laughs> Wait, 
Wait, is it different every time? It's different every time? I didn't know this. I didn't know it was a different minion every time. So it's not actually Bowser until the very end. Or maybe I just never noticed it. No shit. <laughs> but I, I guess because I, I never really relied on the fire flower to beat him. Wow. I had no idea. It's all right, it worked. That makes sense, so... And then the last one's actually him. Huh. this one ah oh, shit <laughs> I don't remember this one this is like where I think in these stages I honestly just was rushing to get through them as a kid and never bothered looking for stuff. This one is just directly under. There we go. Not do well. Shit. Finger asleep. Well, I'm not getting it this time. Restart. Tiny D-pad, man. Oh my god, I can't get in there. What is wrong with me? <laughs> Inner child is screaming. Why am I incapable of getting in here? I'm like tempted to pull out the NES and just play this on the NES and just... Oh, thank you. Jeez. Took longer than it should have. that I have to get all the coins. I would never do this. There we go. Oh, come on.
All right, last one. Oh, there's like 11 parts to this one. I just defaulted to play 1-1 one, one there. Is this providing an abridged experience? It would, it would appear so. Oh, ugh. Yeah, this is providing an abridged experience. This is like showing the route to get through the game quickest. And then what? Go... Get to the... In 4-2 warp again? It's gonna do it. Yep. I could have just made that in one step, honestly. No. Nah. <laughs> but see, I would have the momentum. I wouldn't be going from like a cold, a cold start. Oh no, it's gonna make me do that stage that I hate. Oh no. This is the end part, right? Or is it gonna make me do the whole stage? Okay, it's the end part. Okay, so it just takes you to the end, it doesn't show you how to do the maze. Yeah, look, as long as it dies, it's fine. There we go. That hammer, brother. Bane of my existence as a kid. Okay, we'll go back to the interesting stages now, so, where were we up to? Yeah. Alright. Pop six balloon. Is this, is this normal? I, I've never played this game, so I'm not sure if this is normal. It doesn't look normal, it looks like it's zooming in and out constantly. Fuck. Try again. <laughs> I'm just bad at it because I haven't played it. Or it's- I don't even know if like it's doing something to the game to make it harder. No, there's wind. Look at that. Fuck that. There's no way that my character is flying that quickly. I know a little bit of this game, and I know that it doesn't do that normally. Unless there's something up. I don't know. Oh my god, this is so hard to control. Why? Trying to be very gentle with it. Oh man, fuck that. 
<laughs> that was so stressful. They did something to it. That can't have been normal. Alright, what have they done to this? Run, Samus, get across without taking damage. Oh shit, no. I, okay, I can't control Samus. Samus is just automatically running. It's been such a long time since I've played NES Metroid, honestly. Oh my god. No! Shit! <laughs> I just don't have muscle memory of these... the jumps that she does. My time with this game was very limited. Okay, there we go. Get to the exit. Oh, is that Metroid still? No, it's Kid Icarus. I've never played this game before. I've heard it's brutal. Like, if you want to talk about NES difficulty, this is one of those games. So I wouldn't be able to tell you what they've done to this to make it harder. Didn't know Kid Icarus was that old. Yeah, uh, went back to the NES. Very, very brutal game. And then they did nothing with it until Kid Icarus Uprising. <laughs> it has a very strange history. Yeah, it was good enough to put in Smash Brothers along the way, like, go figure. Ugh, damn it. Apparently the 3DS version of this game is the definitive way to play it. Because they did some quality of life stuff to it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Guess I'm dead. I, I appreciate NES Remix because it just gives you a taste of games that you, you may have never played. But then also does things to them that, um, if you played them, just mess with you a little. I'll play this one day. Go oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> this is one of these games where you're just gonna die repeatedly until you learn the stage. It's just, that's just how it is. I think... What's going on here is, at this point, you're supposed to have a lot more health than what I have now, so this is like... The equivalent of not upgrading your hearts in a Zelda run, I guess. And also, okay. I see. It's scrolling horizontally, which the stage doesn't do. If we look at the HUD, it's being glitchy. So it's like, doing this weird... Wraparound thing! Okay, I got the gimmick now. Use the gimmick to my advantage. I 
it's just need to reach the top, right? Ugh, man, the jump is like Castlevania style jumping. Oh no. Door, 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 door. Oh no. Fake door. Fuck. Oh no. Fuck! <laughs> I was so close. <sighs> I was impatient. Okay, 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 okay. I got this, I got this. I think I had a Game Boy game as well, now that I think about it. Never touched that one either. For fuck's sake. <laughs> I'm just not used to the jumping. No, I'm not trying to catch up to the platform. It's screwed me over multiple times already. All right. I'm not, I, I need the health. I need the health. Can't shoot down. <laughs> oh wait, okay, I see, I see. When they're like that, they can't harm me. Alright, that, that makes sense. So at the end, I could have finished that. <sighs> Come on, man. This is the one. Oh, I hate the jumping, it's so stiff. Just go. <laughs> what is this? Collect that. This looks like hell. Oh. Okay, so Mario Brothers 2... Is, no, it's not even Mario Brothers 2. It's also made the stage an auto-scroller for some reason. The stage is not normally an auto scroller. Oh. <laughs> Hit all the blocks. Ah, oh, fuck off. Each the camera keeps zooming until I hit a new block. Okay. 
Wait, what? <laughs> oh, whoa. Okay. How many... How many... Okay. The who? <laughs> I love how I said no more Zelda games yesterday. And here I am. <laughs> I mean, I'm playing as Link, but it's not a Zelda game. Alright, whatever. What the f- Toad and Zelda 2. These stages are pretty cool. Is this... Ice and Mario 1? Oh no. It's ice skating. Wait, no, this is Lost Levels. This isn't even Mario 1. This is Lost Levels. Like, actual OG Lost Levels. I've never played this game before, to completion. Like, I've, I've played maybe the first couple of stages in this. I feel like I should do that one day. <laughs> no, fuck this. Just run through the stage. Just... I heard it can get very sadistic. Okay, I'm gonna get the mushroom and that's it. Ugh, the ice skating. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm just playing Mario 1 here. Just pretend it's Mario 1. Pretend it's Mario 1! Oh, fuck! <sighs> Dude, this ice is driving me nuts already. Control it properly. Alright, fuck it. I, I know that's the idea. It's just constantly moving you forward. Like, I don't have to press a button, it just, it just moves you forward. Okay, whatever. Hold up, give me a sec. I just need to go turn on the heating. It's a little bit uh, rainy and miserable and cold. Give me 20 seconds. My very comfortable hoodie is in the wash because it was like, oh, it's a sunny day today. I'll be able to dry it out and then it turned cold, so. Joke's on me. Alright, uh. Classic Mayro. 
the real ones. Right, I gotta remember that the jumping on this is very different to what I'm used to. What? Find the real ones? What do you mean real ones? How do I know? How do I know? Okay, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to dis distinguish real from fake here. <laughs> Wait, what? What's the diff- Is this just straight up you just need to know how uh, this arcade game- What the fuck? Oh, is that how I find out? Is this from underneath? Like, if, Yeah, okay, if they become turtles then like that, then it's fine. Okay, so don't jump on them from above, that's how I, I find out. I really don't like the jumping in this. Really? I'm just no good at this game. The jumping just feels wrong. I don't like this! Okay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. I guess I gotta remember the intent of this particular game at the end of the day was to get people to send money. Someone raised a, an interesting question to me in terms of like old games is like, is there any difference between an old game that was designed to be so miserably hard that you just had to keep spending money at the arcade versus say something that stagnates progression through microtransactions? Like, is it really any different? It's like by design, they've, they've done it. So, you know, one way or another, the player has to spend money to progress. Never thought about it like that. I mean, I point to stuff like, you know, arcade coin-ups and stuff like Battletoads, which 100% by design, that, that thing is like... Designed to swallow coins at the arcade. Like, I bet people spent small fortunes on arcade games. Admittedly, some of the elements of, like, gambling weren't in them, but still. I think I just made shit worse for myself by trying to be smart. Well, oh, <laughs> I'm gonna lose. 
Oh, man. Hey! Oh, oh it's the other one. Shit. <laughs> Oh, God. I just, I, I never played this game. Despite how many times it was like re-released over the years. And used in, in other games. Like it was in Mario 3, it was in all those Game Boy Advance games that they released. Of classic remakes. Can't jump on it. Like somehow I avoided playing this one. I feel like the m the strategy here should be to get it to a point where I'm just wow, that was close. Okay, here we go. All right, it's this one. <gasps> Okay, got it. <laughs> it's not gonna be a three-star rating. Yeah. It's okay, I'll settle for that. Oh, it's Donkey Kong. Alright, alright, what's it doing to it? Oh, it's Link again. So Link can't jump. Unlike Mero. Can't use a sword either, that's just... That's the joke. Okay, I thought the umbrella, like, deployed or something. It does not. I mean, this requires planning, I guess. This thing's in the way. down. This thing just fucked me, didn't it? Okay. Oh, come on, man. Out of the way. Hey! Really? Really? Can I make it? I gotta try and make it move. I'm running out of time. Alright, just try again. That did not work out for me. This, this might work out better. I've got to be careful not to box myself in here. I may have just boxed myself in. Oh, oh don't be an asshole. Don't be an asshole!
I don't know what the uh, the pro strats are here. It almost seems like random is random. Wow, that thing is like cock blocking me so hard right now. Dickhead. Go back up your ladder! <laughs> God. I'm fucked. I don't know if there's like a pattern to it or it's just straight up. Just random is random and well. I got what I deserved. Alright, I'm trying a new approach. This surely has to work out. Okay, I think I got it this time. There we go. Bombs to defeat all the enemies. Okay, Mr. Oh, this is like. This is kind of cool. I only get a limited number of attempts, but it's pretty cool. There we go. Metroid one. Oh, no, it's not. Well, <laughs> oh, they're recovering blocks. Uh oh. Stop. Oh, I've made- I've made things so much worse for myself. These blocks won't just- okay, okay, okay. Back to big- back to big Samus, there we go. The hitboxes are a little janky. Yeah, I, I deserve that two star. Oh, no. Oh, fuck that. Please tell me the corner strategy works. Or oh, this is like the patch version where it just doesn't work. Oh my god. No, okay, okay. Thank fuck. <laughs> I've done that fight properly once. Just once. It's, it really does suck. It, it had the best intentions, but it, it's just not a good fight. What is this? It's auto runner, isn't it? Yeah, okay, so it's automatically running. That's fine. This is kind of what I try to do when I play Mario, anyway. Oh, no. <laughs> it just makes me miss Mario 35. 
Oh my god, what am I supposed to- I think I have to bounce off that thing. No? Okay, try again. Trying to do like three little halves. I don't think that's the way to do it. I'll get it, I'll get it, I just gotta keep trying. I think the turtle's just gonna get in the way. I didn't hold the jump button, so I did a high jump, even though I just... Hmm. What the fuck? <laughs> How am I supposed to do this? I tried to not hold the jump button. Can I hold? No. See, D-pad is completely just disabled. It doesn't do anything. Ah, oh, that was it! I just needed to land it. Ugh. I wonder if it's just a case of delaying it enough that it alters the cycle. Let's see. I think that's- I think that's it. I just had to delay it like a couple seconds. Go. might be, uh, wishful thinking. This... <laughs> Why can't I get this? to do that jump. But <laughs> This is going to drive people insane. Delayed it enough. Oh. Oh. All right. <laughs> that wasn't easy.
Dr. Mero. Okay. Another game I haven't really played, but... Oh, no. Fuck, I messed up. I messed up, I messed up. At least the color changes are consistent. It's also on like a top speed. I'm restarting. <laughs> yeah, you know, start at top speed in a game that you don't really know much about. It's fine. <sighs> Should have been better. Okay, set up the stack. God. All right, all right, that's good, that's good. Hurry up. It's blue now. Oh, just. Hey, Colin, how's it going? It's sort of Dr. Mario, not really Dr. Mario. Got it, just in time. <sighs> Fuck me. No, it's what. It's blue now. Okay, I got it. Yeah, this is NES Remix, so it's... I'm playing a bunch of things that have altered NES games. But also, it lets you run through some NES games just for fun. What have they done to this? Doesn't feel any different. I think the difference is it's just off of the star and you just have to rush through the stage. Which, that's fine. Can't wait for today to be over. Vacation day tomorrow. Nice. Defeat Boom Boom as invisible pro- what? Invincible, not invisible. Oh my god. <laughs> This, these jumps she's doing. And she's got the levitation ability as well. Princess Peach's Revenge. It's almost like she's a bit like Samus in this regard. This is the screw attack. How could I mess that up? I didn't time the landing correctly. I let go of the button too early. I should not be messing the stage up. But in this game it was Toadstool, not Peach, but whatever. I'll allow it. Ah, oh, 
Oh shit, I overshot. <laughs> oh my god. I thought it was over. Okay. I was not happy and a child was yelling. Despite this not ever happening in the game. Still was yelling because it's fundamentally Mario 3 and I, I should be better. I think the key is not to overuse the, the float. Fun. I guess this is the last set of stages for Remix 2. Block Great Tiger's attacks. Something, something, something. Oh, I've never played Punch Out. Oh, this is like a timing thing. Okay. I've never played Punch Out. Let's see, I don't know. <laughs> it's five. It looks like it's five. One, two, th fuck. I miss it. Yeah, cause it's it's just I'm I'm certain it's jumping me straight into something difficult. What do you mean? I've never played punch out before. And deliver a face punch. How do you do a face punch? I'll piss off. Cool, so we're gonna be here a while. games that you just have to play over and over again and then eventually you get the hang of it. This is like repetition. The fuck? Am I supposed to just spam when I block? I don't- I don't fucking get it. <laughs> Maybe I should look up how to do like a face punch, as stupid as that might sound.
Motherfucker. This counts as a rhythm game, so this is why I'm bad at it. Because it's all about timing and doing things. Like, it's a boxing game, but really it's low-key a rhythm game. How the f- I'm trying different combinations, like... I- I can do the dodging, it's just the part where it wants me to punch him in the face. Like, you gotta do something specific and I'm not aware of it, because I haven't played this game before! I've got no shot. There's like eight stages, and if they're all punch out, I'm fucked. Alright. Punch out, face punch. <laughs> it's so stupid, I have to look this up. What? How? How? I just- I need to know the controls. There's no way I'm doing this without knowing that. Okay, uh... Where is it? Controls, controls, controls. Start as an uppercut? Okay. Alright, well, let's select on this. That's... yeah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. But see, that's a piece of information I needed. Ah! I hope it's not all punch out, otherwise I might have to skip this one. They don't give you the controls, not for these ones, no, but I guess the prerequisite is to go play the punch out segment, which would probably teach you everything. The dumb part is it's telling me to press down, but it's not telling me what to do to punch him in the face. <laughs> Fucking dickhead. Got him. Okay, it's not- it's not punch out. Oh, I see. No, no, I got it, I got it, I got it. I know it wants me to block, I was blocking correctly. Oof, that was close. Okay, this is fine now. I'm aware of this stage. I messed up. Please don't make me do the whole set again. Okay, good. Got it. Okay, we're fine now. Here's another game I'm not good at. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Damn it. That was unlucky. Right. 
Really? Okay, it's not that one. This, this green thing. It just seems to spawn right at the most annoying time. Okay. Oh, what? It didn't flip it. Oh, probably because it needs to take a second hit. Oh, bad move. <laughs> okay, I got it, I got it. Damn it. <laughs> Nearly. Imagine just how much money people would have spent on this game. Just by design. I can't tell which one's going to be the correct one. It's not that one. Okay, follow that one. Should come out left pipe, right? Ah! Gotcha! Alright, there we go. Okay, this is... Don't look, Nikto, it's Zelda! The fuck is this one? Does she still got? Oh, she still got this ability. Oh no! Okay, sign, 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 sign. But thank you for the bits, either way. Crap! I'm just not used to her. Okay, hold on. Let's just pretend this is Mario. That's all I gotta do. And just not try anything fancy. <sighs> it's the floating thing, like... Okay, okay. And then, and then, and then... That. Okay. It's also this tiny ass D pad on the 3DS. Motherfucker. <laughs> how do you... D <sighs> I need to figure out how to do this float thing reliably. How do you do it? It's like... Okay, and then hold B. Ugh, it's a little awkward. No, no, no. It's like... Okay. It's just if I want to run, I ha they have to release run. That's the problem. It's like both run and... So if I give up running, I can float. <laughs> D 
there's four buttons on this controller. I, I get that they're trying to mimic the NES, but come on, man. I'll piss off. Would it really have killed them to use an extra button just so I can float without... I hate this. I can't do it, man. It's just so awkward. I have to, like, have my thumb on it and then release it. Alright, I'm just gonna have to try and do this with normal jumps. Like, I can't do the floating thing like this. It's too awkward. Unless there's a second button I can press, maybe. No, nah, it's still awkward. I can see why this is one of the last things I have to do. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, oh, this fireball. If this was Mar if this was Mario, this would be done already. I've gotten up there so many times as Mario. It's just she doesn't she doesn't work the same. And I get it, that's the challenge. It could just be that because this is emulated at the end of the day, like it's a little janky as well. Let me try the analog stick instead. Even though it feels wrong. I might have better luck. Fuck. Gee, I wonder why it gives you 200 seconds to try and do this one, and not, like, 30. Okay. Oh, boy. At least this is normal. Yeah, at least this is normal and not what I had to go through in the GBA version. Okay. Going to do the cutscene? Thank you, but you're- you are- what? You are in another castle. Okay, I see. <laughs> now kiss. Yeah, I don't want to start some Rule 34 stuff. I guess you can assume that happened. Curtain went down. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. Alright!
So those are the remix stages done. Like, there's still other stuff to do. Um, which... I think this series is great because it introduces you to a bunch of games that you might never have played and missed out on, so... I kind of hope they bring this on the Switch at some point. If they do, it's worth a pick up if you've never played the NES games, because... It'll give you a small taste of them. But then it also has those stages that does interesting things. Um, so this one was the 3DS version, which it was like a compilation of two games. And there are two other games on the Wii U. Which contain some of the ones you've seen here, but also other ones. So... Yeah. We'll see what else is there. Maybe I'll check out a game that I haven't played before and just get a feel for it, but yeah. This is a nice way to play a bunch of retro things without com committing fully to the game. This was a cool title that I've had. You have no idea how, how long I've had this box sitting. Like, the story behind it is I picked it up and, uh... I intended to play it, but then things happened when the uh, Switch got announced and then my 3DS kind of just fell into the background. Would you believe it? So... How many years ago? <laughs> Seven years ago? <laughs> Man. But you know what? It's for the best. I got to stream them. So yeah, I mean, you can see that there's a bunch of the games I haven't played through. Um, so, I might check out one that I haven't played, just for good measure. I've never played Kid Icarus before. So, I might try that. It was a long time ago. It's kind of hard to believe that, uh, the Switch has been out for that long. I did try the punch out in this one, but that was, like, four months ago. Give or take. So, we got it. I feel bad about that two star on Mario 3. I kind of want, um... Like, look at, look at what's going on on the bottom screen there. Check it out. If I swap to this one. Not this one. This one. That's a nice graphic. Just a bunch of pixel art. I mean, realistically, the bottom screen's not that useful, but anyway. Cool little game. Not a very long one, but... If you do see it appear on the Switch at some point, and you never really played NES games... It's, uh, it's worth a check out. You might find something you like and you go play it on the NES library. Okay. So yeah, that's it. Um, but I mean, yeah, you can play any of these ones and it'll teach you the basics of the game and give you a feel for it, right? So, I guess in the interest of doing that, I've never played Kid Icarus before, so let's just see. I've heard this game is very hard. The jumping on it is, is very stiff, like Castlevania style. And yeah, I mean, if you fall down, you're screwed. <laughs> All right, some basics there.
Wait, bonus stage one? Oh shit, there's more. Okay. No, you know what? We're not done then. I thought we were done. A new take on an old classic. Get to the goal. Alright, let's just see what this is. Oh, this is just a 1-1. One, one. This is 1-1 one, one in Mario 3. Which, yeah, I mean, I guess. This was like in the GBA E-Reader levels. How many times have I done 1-1? One, one? Alright, so there's more to see. I thought we were done. Damn, it's a good thing I decided to continue with Kid Icarus, huh? Alright, anyway. I guess this is the boss room. Ooh, those things hurt. Oh, that doesn't heal you. I don't know what those hearts represent, then. I thought it healed you. Wait, what was- what- Eggplant Curse? the fuck? Huh? Fall victim to the egg- oh, I have to fall. Okay. Reach the hospital. What the fuck? Okay, okay. <laughs> what? Maybe this is why I just haven't played this game. It becomes the thing that I'm- I just most fear this food. Oh my god. Let me remove the eggplant curse. <laughs> it's so weird. Defeat and all right now we. Oof. What a bizarre thing. Say, what was going on there? Yeah, well. Collect hearts and purchase the water of life. This game was not what I expected it to be, I'll tell you that much. The things look like Goombas, but they're not Goombas. Can I just sit there and farm these? I need 210, so... Ooh, it gives me a time box, actually. Hey! Okay. Kill the, uh... 
Not Goombas. I might have to play this at some point. This is intriguing me a little. Let's say get oh get past the re fuck. The stealth in this game. Okay. <laughs> oh god. This is more stressful than Mega Man because the jumping is very stiff. Bonus stage two. I'll do a few more Kid Icarus things. Okay, no, it's a Zelda. It's a Zelda stage! <laughs> uh, that's funny. Press. Oh, you can use the hammer? Hmm. Interesting. I wonder how you acquire the hammer. Save two centurions. Alright, so it's like limited use. This one's pretty short. Defeat Twin Bellows. Oh, it's like Cerebus, except not Cere- oh my god. Okay, well that- that, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's kind of cool, based on how many you save, it's gonna make your life easier. Oh no, my friends! This is a weird game. It's like some elements are Zelda-like, some elements are Mario-like, and then... It almost feels a bit like Metroid as well. Do so. Oh, I'm like Valkyrie style now. The movement is very stiff. Okay, up or down. Oof. Here comes that classic NES difficulty. The movement is so stiff.
Like, look at me move up and down. This is the speed that I can move up and down at versus horizontally, which is like this. Going back is slow, going forward is fast, which I guess makes sense. Alright, I guess I just have to line up my shot, like... Yeah, just do the classic... Just be on the spot and don't move from the spot. Just face roll it. I mean, literally face roll it. Yeah, that's right. I've played NES games before. <laughs> I know what this shit's about. When you get something extremely difficult, this is what you do. I don't have to play the game now. This is the ending. <laughs> Course, what a performance. Like, ah, oh, well, I guess let's see. What is this? All oh, right, yeah, this is quest two. Quest two is so annoying. I played it for the first time when I was doing the whole Zelda thing. Is it really just where it was? Really? It's gonna make me do this dungeon. See, this would have been... This, this room angered me so much, because it's like... I was spending an eternity trying to figure out where to go, and then just... I, I don't even remember, but like... That shit. Who would think to do that? It's making me leave my... No, 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 no. It's actually making me leave my life. Look at this! Look at this! <laughs> it's a terrible trade-off. You have to make sure you have money. Man, Zelda won, I, t I tell ya. If you wanna, like... Blame something for how I overcomplicate games, this, this is- this- what you're looking at right now is responsible for me overcomplicating games. Cause you had to. Oh yeah, just stab the wall. No pro- what the... Oh no. I hate this. I hate this already. I hate this already. Okay, I got a couple. Nilly, 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 nilly. Yeah. I need 390. Alright, I just need to do one stage or something. Okay, apparently I didn't do the last Donkey Kong stage, so this is perfect. I know how Donkey Kong works. Alright, sweet. I imagine the timing on this one's way more precise. It turned around! 
There we go. Like, that's just RNG. Okay. Same strategy as before. Oh my god, it's so good I can jump. Actually, this makes this so much easier. I don't have to do what I did as Link. Just wait here until it wears off. What do you mean? <laughs> what? Why didn't the hammer work? This game can be such an asshole. Alright, there we go. Two points off. Um, what can I do quickly? I bet this one. I, look. This is gonna be like an easy. whatever number of points it is. It's probably just going to make me do the first castle. Will, what happened? I thought you said there wasn't going to be any more Zelda anymore. Liar! Okay, I got my points. What's the next stage it's gonna? Wait, where are my points? How many do I need? It's 390. I just, I just need two stars, that's all I need. Works for me. Still at 388, why? Oh no, because it's clear time. I'm an idiot. I see. This isn't giving me stars. Okay, this one I haven't done any of. Alright, Metroid, 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 Metroid. Hmm. 
Imagine you play this game for the first time and don't go left. Just, I think it doesn't let you go any further, but you know, it's fine. I think this game is great, it's just one floor behind it is just it did not have a map. That's the only thing that's wrong with it, otherwise it's a great game. But I've heard there's like a ROM hack you can get uh, that adds a map in. But I mean, the definitive way to play this game is Zero Mission, which is like the Game Boy Advance remake. There we go, that's all I was trying to do. It's Dr. Mayro. Oh, this is like constantly moving. That's that's the spin on it. Good work. Way to way to go. I know. I know someone's childhood had just been betrayed. I feel like I have to restart it at this point almost. Okay. Listen. No, fuck this. I, I I messed up. I messed up. I know. I know. That was bad. It's gonna take ages. It's just easier for me to do this. It's okay. This will this will still work. I block that from going any further. Okay, now we're good. This this should be fine. This virus I may have made this worse. Inadvertently made this worse. It's alright, fix it, fix it, it's fixed. <laughs> I never played this. Tetris was my game, not Dr. Mario. Alright, that's a solid two hours of this. I guess we'll do more of it, um, as there are more stages to unlock in, in this bonus round. There's like 25, so still plenty to do. Alright, I'm gonna do a small intermission and then we'll come back and do other stuff, but if you're here just to watch this uh, second session of NES Remix, thanks for tuning in, especially if you're watching later on YouTube. And uh, don't forget to click buttons and stuff for algorithm purposes if you like what you saw or uh, you want to see more of this in the future. Alright, bye YouTube.